Mecklenburg County officials are working to make sure all people in the community are treated fairly. They're collecting data to learn how environmental factors could have a negative impact on your health. Our Casey Jones talked to the sustainability and resiliency manager from Mecklenburg County about this study. Tell us a little bit about what is environmental justice? Certainly. So often our black, brown and low income residents are more affected by climate change and environmental harms. Environmental justice works to ensure that all our residents, regardless of race, color, national origin or income, have equal access to clean air, clean water, fresh food and healthy housing. The county is committed to embracing environmental justice through our plan, and we cannot create this plan without involvement from our community. And that brings me to my next point, data. It's so important that people help you and participate. So in your research, are there any particular districts that you have noticed seem to be negatively impacted by environmental factors more than another? Certainly. So um, one, we have been working to assess data from the Center for Disease Control, the Environmental Protection Agency. And while that data is informative, it does not give us the why or the so what. We must have feedback from our community to connect those dots. And so to understand our current state, we're looking at geography, census blocks, districts, pollution sources, access to community services, and a whole host of other data. And as I mentioned before, we still don't know the why or the so what. We haven't connected all those dots yet. There does seem to appear initially to be a concentration of negative impacts in the Crescent. However, that data does not tell us what is happening in real time because we do not yet have that critical community input. Mm, I see this. This is that critical community input. So tell us a little bit about where this data will go. Of course. So once we have collected and analyzed all that data, it will inform the environmental justice action plan, which will be drafted by the county and will be shared publicly. And how can people participate? Great question. We will be hosting in-person and virtual engagement opportunities over the course of the summer to get real-time feedback on that data I just spoke to. We will also be publishing a survey to get feedback from folks who are unable to attend those sessions. This information, along with the survey, will be published on our website, found at mechnc.gov backslash EJ. And you can also sign up for updates by emailing ejaction at mechnc.gov.